XQ-58 Valkyrie U.S. Air Force's stealthy drone fighter. The Valkyrie program develops loyal wingman drone concept for integrating manned and unmanned teaming system. The U.S. Air Force's future drone fighter. The XQ-58 Valkyrie on June 11, 2019 took off for its second test flight over Yuma, Arizona. The 29 feet long, jet-powered drone successfully completed all test objectives during a 71-minute flight, the Air Force Research Laboratory announced. The Valkyrie's first flight took place in March 2019. The Air Force and California drone maker Kratos plan to conduct five test sorties during this phase of the XQ-58's development. The Valkyrie is part of a wider Air Force effort to acquire fast, stealthy, armed drones that can fly and fight alongside manned fighters one type of wingman drone, the hardware and software for integrating manned and unmanned teaming. A new version of the Air Force's F-35A stealth fighter, as well as the heavily upgraded version of the F-15 that the flying branch hopes to acquire, both could function as flight leads for the service's wingman drones, Will Roper, the Air Force's top weapons buyer, told Defense News. The Air Force is in discussions with Boeing and Lockheed respectively to modify their F-15 and F-35 Block 4 fighters to accommodate the data links and processors from the Skyborg effort, Insina reported. Roper confirmed that the Air Force eventually will fold the subsonic XQ-58 into the Skyborg program. The Air Force plans to test wingman drones in 2019 and 2020 with the hope of having an aircraft ready by 2023. Roper told that pairing manned fighters with drones could open up the door for an entirely different way to do aerial combat. For example, Take a typical four aircraft formation and replace it with an F-15 and three Valkyries, Insnu explained. We can take risk with some systems to keep others safer, Roper said. We can separate the sensor and the shooter. Right now they're collocated on a single platform with a person in it. In the future, we can separate them out, put sensors ahead of shooters put our manned systems behind the unmanned. There's a whole manned and unmanned teaming. Pilots and crew in manned planes and controllers on the ground both could direct the wingman drones. But the unmanned aerial vehicles themselves could end up being highly autonomous. The XQ-58's flight testing signals an expansion of international efforts to develop drone that can fly and fight in mixed formations with manned warplanes. Boeing's Australian subsidiary in February 2019 unveiled its so-called air power teaming system, a 38-foot-long, jet-powered drone that the company said could carry weapons and sensors and fly as far as 2,000 miles. Boeing developed the new drone in cooperation with the Australian military. After further development, the Royal Australian Air Force could acquire the drones quickly and cheaply add firepower to its roughly 100-strong fighter fleet and six C-7 radar planes. The Boeing Air Power Teaming System is designed to team with a wide range of existing military aircraft from fighters to commercial derivative aircraft said Ashley Irwin, a Boeing spokesperson. Beside Australia, China and Japan also are working on wingman drones. A mock-up or prototype of China's 30-feet-long dark saw drone first appeared in public in an undated photo that circulated online in mid-2018. Japan revealed its own combat support unmanned aircraft wingman drone concept in a technology roadmap that Aviation Week first published in late 2016. Wingman drones could change the way major air forces fight, according to Peter W. Singer, author of Wired for War. The idea of a robot wingman is that it can keep pace with manned planes, but be tasked out for parts of the mission that you would not send a human to do.
Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.